10 guests like Pepsi, 15 like Coke, 20 like Limca, 2 guests like all the 3 drinks and 3 guests like at least 2 drinks, how many like exactly 1 drink? This question can be very easily solved by using our van equations. So let us first of all start by writing what has been given to us. 10 guests like Pepsi. So we can write P is equal to 10. This is one thing that has been given to us. Then we have been given Coke is 15, C is 15. Then Limca is 20. And two guests like all the three drinks. So we have to write P, C and L is equal to 2. So this is what has been given to us and also has been given that three guests like at least two drinks. Now this portion is a bit tricky. Let us draw a diagram first. This is, so this is your P, this is your C and this is L. Three guests like at least two drinks. So what is in at least? This one, where P and C only and also you can put this one, these like three and this one and this one. So basically we have to find out this shaded region. Now this shaded region can be written like this, PC. PC means this entire boat, add this entire boat which is PL. But when we have added this PL, this portion has got added once. So earlier also it was included with P and C and now has it, had, it has been included. So we have to remove it. So we will write it as minus PCL. And likewise add the third boat which is LC and remove PCL. So this is what we have been given and it is equal to 3. So let us now put some values and simplify it. PC plus PL plus LC minus 2 PCL is equal to 3 which implies PC plus PL plus LC is equal to 3 plus 2 PCL which is equal to 3 plus 2 multiplied by 2 because PCL is 2 and it gives us 7. So this is what we have at present, PC plus PL plus LC is equal to 7. So with this all given, now let us see what is he asking. He says how many like exactly one drink. So exactly one means those that fall under P underscore, C underscore and L underscore. So we will write P underscore plus L underscore plus C underscore. This sum is required. Now it is very easy to see that both our when equations will be required here because we have PCL also and this also. So let us start by using our first when equation. So what does it state that N P union C union L is equal to the union equation is equal to P plus C plus L minus PC minus PL minus LC plus PLC. This we already know. And so we can put 10, 15, 20. 10 plus 15 plus 20 minus the sum of PC, PL and LC. So this will be minus 7. And add PLC. PLC is 2. So this gives us 30, 45, 47, this gives me 40. So N, P, U, C, U, L is 40. Let me hook the second equation now. N, P, U, C, U, L is equal to P underscore plus C underscore plus L underscore. Add P, C plus P, L plus L, C and subtract twice of PLC. So this is the second equation which you already know. So I'll write it as required. So required plus this sum. This sum is already 7. So plus 7 
माइनस टू पी एल सी माइनस टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वॉट इज पी एल सी पी एल सी इज टू सो दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड प्लस सेवन माइनस फोर थ्री एंड पी यू सी यू एल इज ऑलरेडी नोन टू बी फोर्टी सो आई राइट इट एज फोर्टी विच इम्प्लाइज रिक्वायर्ड इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी माइनस थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सेवन सो दिस इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन it might have looked a bit of a longer steps but this is at least the least thing that is required many people start by putting figures on these diagrams but that becomes very complicated when three diagram th when three sets are involved so that's why i suggest that you should make use of these equations and most of the questions can be solved by using these two equations only let us now move on to our next question Okay there were 100 guests in a marriage party 15 of them took coke and pepsi 17 took pepsi and limka 16 took coke and limka the number of guests who took coke only pepsi only or limka only was 20 each how many took all the three so let us now blindly start by writing what has been given to us 100 guests in a marriage party so we can write n p u c u l p is for pepsi coke and limka this is given to us as 100 15 of them to coke and pepsi so pc is equal to 15 then 17 to pepsi and limka so we'll write pl is equal to 17 and cl is equal to 16 likewise the number of guests who took coke only pepsi only or limka only was 20 each so we have been given p underscore is equal to l underscore is equal to c underscore is equal to 20 how many took all three so basically we have to find p c l now it's very easy to see that the second van equation can be easily substituted here this and all the constituents of that equation are available so let us write that equation n p u c u l is equal to p underscore plus c underscore plus l underscore, and here you will have plus two p l, sorry plus p l plus c l plus p c, and subtract two p c l here. So this is our second equation, and uh, this is hundred is equal to. So this sum is twenty. All are twenty. So twenty and three of them are there. So it will be twenty times three plus. Now this is given us to us as seventeen, and then sixteen, and then fifteen, and let us say that this is minus two PCL only, which is required. So it's all now algebra is equal to sixty plus thirteen and five. Eighteen and forty-eight minus two PCL. So, which implies two PCL is equal to hundred eight minus hundred, which is equal to eight, and therefore PCL is equal to eight by two, which is equal to four as the answer. so uh, i think i don't need any proof about the benefits of using these van equations so this is how this apparently tough looking question could be easily done by using van equations now let us move on to our next question let us move on to our next question 